stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a double X-Class flare. That's right, a double X-Class flare. NASA, the sun, emits two X-Class solar flares in less than an hour. You know what a double X means? That means there will be no Earth penetration. Oh, baby. Astronomy is so naughty. The sun has emitted two X-Class solar flares, the most intense flares to burst from the sun's surface. The solar flares were captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. The first took place at 7.42 a.m. Eastern Dork Time on 10 June. What are you, English? And it was an X 2.2 flare. A solar flare is a powerful burst of radiation. X-Class is the category used for the most intense flares with the numbers indicating how strong it is. An X2 is twice as intense as an X1. An X3 is three times as intense. Man, I wonder how intense it is. X7 will be. The second flare, which was X15, peaked at 8.52 Eastern Dork Time, less than an hour after the first. And to rev up the solar doom, we have another sunspot that is directly facing Earth that has the Kappa Gamma Delta Sigma to spew out X-class flares. So if that thing goes, it'd be a straight shot to Earth. And of course, there'll be no Earth penetration because our atmosphere would soak it up like gravy to a biscuit, and it's not Earth-facing shooting out the side of the sun. The harmful radiation from a flare cannot pass through Earth's atmosphere to physically affect humans on the ground, NASA said. However, when intense enough, they can disturb the atmosphere in the layer where GPS and communications signals travel. And it could fry the entire grid, you know, to where no electronics work. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Weather Service said the solar flare would result in short-lived impacts to high-frequency communications. Both NASA and the NOAA said updates will be issued if further details emerge. And over at Space Weather, we got a double X flare. Forecasters expected an X flare today, and the sun complied. The source, however, was unexpected. A new sunspot, AR2087, suddenly emerging from behind the sun's southeastern limb, erupted twice, producing an X2.2 flare at 11.42 Universal Texas time, and an X1.5 flare at 12.52. This extreme ultraviolet image from the Solar Dynamics Observatory shows the first blast. X-rays and UV radiation from the double flare created a wave of ionization in Earth's upper atmosphere, altering the normal propagation of radio transmissions over Europe. Rob Stames recorded the sudden ionospheric disturbance, SID, from his laboratory in Lofotono, Norway. Hey, I'm Norwegian. Almost 100%. Born in America, though. Preliminary coronagraph images from NASA's stereo probes show a bright CME emerging from the blast site. Traveling mostly away from the Sun-Earth line, no strong impacts are expected. Before today's double eruption, forecasters had been keeping a wary eye on sunspot complex AR-2080 slash AR-2085. Almost directly facing Earth, those two sunspots have delta-class magnetic fields that harbor energy for X-class flares. The emergence of super sunspot AR-2087 on the southeastern limb adds another potent source to the mix. Solar activity is high and likely to remain so in days ahead. Well, this minimal double-peaked solar maximum has been odd indeed. And I've been documenting it every step of the way. Here we go. Man, the sun sure can shoot out a whole lot of energy. And it's cool that X-Class flares make an X. And a game we like to play at Thor News is, which X-Man is that X-Class flare? And unfortunately, due to my horrible dating life, unfairly, it usually ends up women. But this time, we'll, tr we'll try and pick a dude. Is it Cyclops? Because, you know, he shoots beams out of his eyes. Like, he shoots X-Class flares out of his eyeballs. Maybe it's Wolverine. Nope, it's Dazzler and Jubilee. Because they are bright and dancing, just like these solar flares. It's amazing stuff. Wow, look at that filament moving on the sun. Big old honking chunk. This giant five million Earths. If you notice, like in the middle, directly facing the middle of the sun, directly facing us, is the sunspot they're worried about shooting off X-class flares. Will we have a triple X? Well, if we do, I imagine that video's gonna be dirty. I was kidding. Wow, look at that. Did you see all that darker stuff on the sun just kind of spread out? That happened when the filament released, I do believe. That is some crazy stuff, man. These are fun days indeed. Man, think how easy it would be for the sh 
the sun to shoot out a planet. I want to say again, I believe planets are created inside of the sun. And when we look back on the filament that left the sun, that giant one, if you just watch all the solar stuff spread out, man, that's crazy. It makes me wonder, is there a neutron star siphoning off hydrogen? Is it a new TZO star? Is it Planet X? The b room? And here comes the boom. And we're going to look at that unnamed comet slash asteroid that dove into the sun. Poor baby. Lucky for you, you don't have no feelings. Wouldn't that change our the way we look at celestial physics if we found out asteroids had feelings? Wow, that looked like a huge gash in the sun. Hey, well, if an X-class flare does shoot out at Earth, what's the worst thing that could happen? Other than all electronics frying, never working again, and utter chaos, lawlessness, streets slick with slaughter, mothers bashing their babies' brains against brick walls, getting tired of hearing them, crowd and hunger. You know, you'll get the people who are like, hey, this is normal, crap like this happens all the time. And that's kind of true, but the sun has been acting very weird. So much so that they never really picked a solar maximum, man. We've been solar maximum-less for a while. Crazy times indeed, wouldn't you say? So, man, I still believe. Oh, I still believe. Man, what was that giant thing? That thing is huge. And if, if the sun doesn't use energy uniform, how do you know it's got enough fuel to last another 5 billion years? And that never takes into account... Wait, what is that flashy dot? Is that a planet? What is that flashy dot, man? It's gotta be a planet, right? Here comes the boom. It almost looks like a lot of tails. You know what I'm saying? Alright, peace out. God bless. We'll stay on top of the store. Everybody stay cool.